dear students, uh, we will study uh, uh, problems on ne the next type of uh, linear differential equations with constant coefficients. And before that, I, I shall add a few problems for your practice, what we learnt in the previous lectures. I shall write few examples for your practice, but uh, I will give, I shall give some hints for that and then I shall take up uh, non-homogeneous differential equations. So, uh, I will give a list of problems, few problems I, I shall give, maybe some repeated type uh, what we studied earlier in the three uh, different cases. The first case is roots are real and different after writing the uh, differential equation in the form of auxiliary equation. Then uh, uh, the roots are real and different, uh, m 1 is not equal to m 2 is not equal to m 3 and so on. The second case is uh, roots are real and repeated and the third case is roots are imaginary. In all these three cases, uh, we have studied the problems. I shall just uh, give some extra problems for your practice, so that this method you can make so perfect uh, uh, for solving varieties of problems. Okay. I shall write few examples on this. Solve the following. ordinary differential equations. First one, d to the power of 4 y divided by d x to the power of 4 plus 2 times d cube y divided by d x cube plus d square y divided by d x square is equal to 0. Then second one, d square plus of 6 d plus 11 operating on y is equal to 0. Next d cube minus 4 d operating on y is equal to 0. That is d to the power of 4 y divided by d x to the power of 4 plus of 2 times d cube y divided by d x cube and plus of d square y divided by d x square, then that is equal to 0. d cube plus d square minus d minus 1 operating on y equal to 0, but this is given with initial conditions x equal to 0, y equal to 1, x equal to 2 that is sorry y dash, y dash is equal to 2 and y double dash is equal to 12. Next example, d to the power of 4 minus 7 d cube plus 18 d square minus 20 d plus 8 operating on y equal to 0, 7. That is d square x divided by d t square plus of 6 d x by d t plus 9 x equal to 0. Some of these problems you can go through uh, like uh, repeated type of uh, problems what we studied in the previous lectures. For example, the first one you can go for the hint let me give, you can go for the uh, conversion uh, from the existing symbol of this differential coefficient to this linear differential operator type. This you can write it as that is d to the power of 4 plus 2 d cube and plus d square operating on y is equal to 0. That means fourth degree uh, equation of uh, auxiliary form you can expect with the fourth order derivative. That means you can take here also one more rearrangement you can do that is d square is common that is d square plus 2 d and plus 1 
operating on y equal to 0. Here the roots you can expect that is d square into d plus 1 whole square equal to 0. Here totally 4 roots are there. One is uh, 0 and 0 and another one is minus 1 and minus 1. This d gives that means m f of m equal to 0 that means m square into m plus 1 that is whole square is equal to 0. For this m square m is equal to 0 comma 0 and for this minus 1 and then minus 1. So two sets of roots you are getting both the sets of roots are going to be repeated once therefore these values are real these values are real and repeated this 0 is repeated and minus 1 is repeated y is equal to c1 e to the power 0 into x plus c2 uh, x into e to the power 0 into x plus of c3 e to the power minus x and plus of c4 x into e to the power minus x therefore this y takes the solution c1 plus c2 x because e to the power 0 into x is 1 and e to the power 0 into x is 1 therefore last two terms this should be c3 plus c4 x into this is e to the power uh, minus x is there this is the solution you can expect for the first problem second problem algebraic method you can use that is uh, m square uh, plus of 6m plus 11 equal to 0 algebraic method of finding the roots how you, how you can write the roots m is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac and whole divided by 2a in this case a equal to 1 and b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 11 you can apply those values according to this algebraic method and find the uh, two values two values because the, it is a second order derivative you must expect two values as roots and two constants in the final solution and in this problem d is common you can write outside this is d into it is d square minus 4 operating on y equal to 0 operating on y equal to 0 then what is the solution you are going to expect this one that is d into d square minus 4 so this gives d is equal to 0 and d is equal to 2 comma 2 because you are taking d square is equal to 4 plus 4 and d is equal to plus or minus 2 uh, d square is equal to 4 means that is d uh, uh, d, uh, d is equal to uh, plus 2 and minus 2 that means all the three are different uh, d equal to 0 d equal to 2 and d is equal to minus 2 they are real and different you can write c1 e to the power 0x plus c2 e to the power 2x plus c3 e to the power minus 2x and here this is also similar type this problem both are similar both are uh, similar type of course this problem is repeated so this you can uh, uh, ignore because both are same and d cube plus d square minus d plus 1 this has to be uh, rearranged like uh, uh, d square uh, that means in the form of auxiliary equation how you can write m cube plus m square and minus m and minus 1 equal to 0 therefore from first two terms you can take m square common that is m plus 1 and minus of this is m plus 1 equal to 0 therefore this implies m is equal to minus 1 and uh, m square minus 1 okay m square minus 1 equal to 0 therefore m is equal to minus 1 comma it is 1 comma minus 1 so m square minus 1 and m plus 1 is equal to 0 means so one root is repeated one root is not repeated and then three constants will uh, will be calculated using this initial set of conditions what is that x is for y and x is for y dash and x is for y double dash so that three different constants you can evaluate using those three sets and using these three 
types of roads. Then here fourth degree question. Now you have to verify by trial and verification method for what number of uh, m this equation satisfies then you divide again uh, that third degree equation has to be divided and for what number that equation satisfies then you have to calculate actually. So that means you have to calculate actually means uh, the corresponding root you have to identify that is going to be repeated for which number that is one thing. Next here it is second degree equation this must be taken as uh, uh, here 6 is there that means 3 into 2 6 is there and 3 square this becomes m square plus 6m plus 9 uh, equal to 0. This gives m plus 3 whole square. m plus 3 whole square means what? m is equal to minus 3 comma minus 3. So like this uh, you can get uh, two roots which are real and repeated. So these are the problems which you can write in detail the steps hints are given for all the problems now you can go for the solutions. So you will expect uh, uh, ma uh, mainly two types one is without initial conditions and another one is with initial conditions but all these problems with right side as zero okay. So now I would like to draw your attention towards the next uh, discussion that is right side is not zero. Right side is not zero means we call them as uh, non-homogeneous differential equation. Presently we have homogeneous differential equation but the next situation will be non-homogeneous differential equation. How we have to find out uh, the general solution for such non-homogeneous non, non differential equation. So we will discuss now. solution of non-homogeneous non-homogeneous ODE with constant coefficients constant coefficients of course linear form they are not in non-linear form. All the equations we are going to study uh, should be linear according to the syllabus of MATDIP 301. So what is the meaning of this non-homogeneous? Uh, in all the previous uh, discussions we came across the homogeneous differential equation with the standard type that is f of d operating on y that is equal to x of x okay so f of d y operating on y is equal to x of x such that this is equation number one such that if x of x is not equal to 0 not equal to 0 then uh, it is it is called non homogeneous non homogeneous ODE non homogeneous ODE. So homogeneous ODE means this is 0 so far we studied here the solution procedure takes with the combination of two different solutions the we call it as a general solution that general solution will be a combination of complementary function and particular integral. That complementary function is a solution responsible for LHS of the problem and particular integral is a solution responsible for RHS of the uh, given problem. So uh, LHS will be in a differential form but RHS will not be in a differential form but still we need to write that uh, together combining these two solutions as complementary function and particular integral as uh, to be defined as general solution okay therefore the solution for one is called general solution solution for one is called general solution 
such that such that general solution that is gs is y is equal to that is yc plus of yp we call otherwise this is sometimes that is complementary function plus pi in some textbooks they write like this in some textbooks they write like this both are same where where yc uh, is equal to cf is equal to complementary function complementary function complementary function uh, which is a solution which is a solution for LHS which is a solution for LHS of the problem of the problem what it is LHS that is f of d y is the LHS this much that much okay that is from the equation one so this you have to understand already uh, what the procedure you have followed so far exactly same steps you carry out to write this complementary function right the next part yp this is called pi pi this is particular integral particular integral particular integral obtained by obtained by using inverse differential operator inverse differential operator now our task is what is the inverse differential operator and how it is to be applied and what, what is the meaning of that significance of that inverse differential operator and how it is to be handled to discuss totally four different cases. I think the first case is right side x of x is equal to exponential form and the second case that is sin of ax plus b form, third case cos of ax plus b form and next case is with uh, uh, polynomial term that is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x to the power of 4 and so on. How this inverse differential operator is going to be operated and another case is product of exponential and trigonometric function, product of exponential and polynomial term. But all these details are not for your syllabus, your syllabus is for uh, uh, maybe constant coefficients only, then I will uh, 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 discuss three different cases. One is exponential form, another one is trigonometric function and one more is polynomial term using inverse differential operator. So now what is the significance, what is the role of this inverse differential operator when we want to find out the particular integral here, particular integral otherwise this is called yp. So yc and yp will be respectively cf and pi. What is the role and how it is to be operated? On, on, what, uh, how it affects on every term on the right side it is given. Even on the constant term you can operate, uh, even on the uh, exponential term we can operate with the powers as exponential as plus and minus and with the trigonometric function we can operate with both cos and sin. Other trigonometric functions are to be handled by converting them into cos and sin and the last uh, part is uh, polynomial term. Okay. So all these cases we will put together and then we will write this as general solution. So general solution is always called as linear combination of two different solutions. One solution is for LHS, another solution is for RHS. You remember LHS part of equation 1 is a differential form, RHS part is not a differential form. Therefore we call it as particular solution or particular integral. So now uh, let us define uh, the inverse differential operator first of all for this uh, general uh, equation of non-homogeneous form in the linear uh, differential equation. Okay. So what is the inverse differential operator? What is the symbol? 
and how that is going to be operated on exponential form. So, from this inverse differential operator. Let from this equation 1 itself, I will take this, okay. Let y is equal to 1 divided by f of d, I will send this to the right side in denominator and x of x, this is to be operated and this will be taken as f of d whole to the power minus 1 and this is to be operated on x of x and left side that is y is there, okay. So, this f of d inverse, f of d inverse is called, f of d inverse is called inverse, is called inverse differential operator, inverse differential operator. This I am taking to the numerator that becomes the inverse, then I will call it as inverse differential operator. Okay. So, the first case, if x of x is equal to exponential form, how this inverse differential operator is going to be operated? Now, following are the rules. Are the rules to operate to operate f of d to the power minus 1 uh, for various functions, for various functions, case 1, when x of x is equal to e to the power a x or otherwise and because with the negative power I am taking minus of a x. This is the case number 1 and most of the examples you will find in terms of exponential form of this any one of these kinds. Then how this inverse differential operator is going to be operated? <coughs> this is only for finding uh, is called inverse differential operator following all the rules to operate to operate f of d inverse for various functions in that is p i otherwise that is y p to find the solution because uh, general solution for this one is y is equal to y c plus y p this y c already we have studied in the previous lectures that means left side solution that is for uh, uh, LHS of the problem that is f of dy is equal to 0, then we, then you will get auxiliary equation, then you will get roots and then you will write the solution, that part is over. But now our, uh, our main focus is on how to find out the particular integral using inverse differential operator. First case is exponential term, how this is to be and what is the limitation and how this will be failed and how this will be successful. So, these two cases we discuss like uh, to find out the particular integral. So, let me take like this to find p i otherwise y p using, using inverse differential operator. We take like this let y p is equal to 1 by f of d operating on x of x and this is equal to 1 by f, uh, uh, f of d operating on e to the power a x in the first case because a will be replaced afterwards by minus a. Then what is the procedure? There are theoretical details, those details are not required for your uh, uh, syllabus now, only the step which we have to uh, finally accept how this is going to be useful in solving the special cases in the examples. Okay. So, how to handle this e to the power a x. So, whatever this x of x is there okay, here in the f of d. So, that replace this is the condition replace d by a provided d by a 
provided provided <coughs> f of d is equal to f of d equal to a equal to f of a is not equal to 0. When you replace that d by a, you must be very, very careful. Uh, this function should not be equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, what happens? We have to think of. But presently, this is not equal to 0. Then it will be the end of it. It will be the solution. Whatever it comes, it will be the solution. That means yp is what? Uh, yp is equal to 1 divided by f of a, right? e to the power ax uh, when f of a is not equal to 0. This is the first direct solution. I will let you know how this uh, step is going to uh, satisfy the given problem as particular solution. Okay. So, in case if it is 0, what happens? If f of a, f of d is equal to f of a is equal to 0, then, then yp is equal to x into 1 divided by f dash of d operating on uh, that is e to the power ax, operating on e to the power ax. You have to write the differentiation and outside this entire bracket you have to multiply by x when when this f of a becomes 0 uh, put this x outside this comes in theory there is a derivation that derivation part is not for your syllabus and this is x uh, should be multiplied but you have to write the differential of this with respect to d that is f dash of d then you operate uh, d is to be replaced by uh, a provided again the same condition we impose yeah, that should not be equal to 0. So, what is that uh, uh, step that you are going to write it as a yp means a particular integral will be like this yp is equal to x into 1 divided by f dash of a f dash of a that is uh, e to the power a x if f dash of a is not equal to 0. If f of a is equal to 0, here I have written how we argue here, it is the case of failure. It is the case of failure. It is the case of failure. Any uh, reference you take uh, for your uh, textbook uh, knowledge, uh, then the important uh, contents you can collect this much. When the denominator, when you replace d by a, if it becomes, uh, if it does not become 0, that is the end of solution. There itself you have to stop. If it becomes 0, then we claim that it is a case of failure. Then you proceed to write its differential coefficient here in the denominator and then you replace this d by a, then this will be the final solution. Now, what is, what is your question now? Your question may be like this. Suppose this is also 0, what happens? If this is also in the second stage, it becomes 0. Now, if f dash of a equal to 0, then again, it is a case of failure. Again, it is the case of, it is the case of failure. How you will argue? It is the case of failure means then yp is equal to x into x that is x square into 1 divided by once again you differentiate f double dash of uh, d f double dash of d operating on e to the power ax putting this x outside this bracket okay provided here <coughs> again we claim this solution is the end of it uh, if f double dash uh, of a is not equal to 0. This is the end of it. Okay, f double dash of d that means yp is equal to x square 1 divided by f double dash of a into e to the power ax. So, this is the final solution if that is not going to become 
0. Now, if f double dash of d equal to f double dash of a is equal to 0, again it is the case of failure. Case of failure, I will write. Case of failure. <coughs> Procedure will be repeated. Procedure will be repeated. repeated like this in place of x square you will be getting x cube and again we claim that f triple dash f triple dash of a is not equal to 0 so and so on I will write and so on <coughs> that means in place of this e to the power a x note I will write note if x of x is equal to e to the power minus a x <coughs> minus a x then the above procedure above procedure may be repeated may be may be repeated at a equal to minus a that is all. So, this is what the theory which you have to understand and uh, how the problems we are going to take up uh, on the application of this uh, procedure using inverse differential operator. So, now I shall start one by one problems how this inverse differential operator is going to be operated. one or two three problems if you understand in depth I am sure that uh, uh, it is nothing but uh, the repetition of the same procedure which you have to follow. <coughs> Example solve 4 d square 4 d square plus 4 d minus 3 operating on 2x. This is the first case uh, and uh, I shall complete some problems on the first case, then second case I shall explain and then some problems I, I shall continue. Then you are sure that uh, right side is not 0 because right side is 0 means homogeneous differential equation. So, presently we are studying non-homogeneous differential equations. It is not the case of homogeneous differential equations. Okay. Uh, let this function that is 4 d square plus 4 d minus 3 operating on y is equal to e to the power 2 x be the non-homogeneous non-homogeneous ODE with what form with x of x is equal to what e to the power 2x which is not equal to 0 <laughs> that is our first claim first claim means what that means we are we are expecting right side is not 0 therefore f of d y equal to x of x is equal to e to the power 2x which is not equal to 0 <clears throat> hence it is said to be non homogeneous differential equation so what we are trying for this general solution solution of this problem general solution general solution is equal to y is equal to c1 sorry yc plus yp otherwise c of plus of pi c of plus pi that means complementary function plus particular integral complementary complementary function plus particular integral 
So in every problem, you need not to give all these details. In the first problem, I am writing all these details. Next uh, problem onwards, only the symbols you can follow. So it should be a general solution. We call it as GS. This one as GS. Okay. GS is equal to YC plus YP, otherwise CF plus PI. Now already you have you are familiar and you know how to calculate uh, complementary function. Okay. Let YC that means complementary function. Let here auxiliary equation B only for the left side auxiliary equation B for LHS LHS what we have to take that is 4 m square my plus of 4 m minus 3 equal to 0. What is this auxiliary function? It is f of d equal to f of m is equal to 0. That is what directly I am writing because already you are familiar by uh, studying the previous article. That means in the case of homogeneous differential equation. What are the values of m? So m is equal to minus b plus minus root of it is b square minus 4ac and divided by it is 2a. This is equal to minus b means minus 4 plus minus it is b square 16 minus uh, b square minus 4ac 4 into 4 into minus 3 that is divided by 2 into 4 this much. Okay, then what is the simplification? Minus 4 uh, divided by 8, this 4 into 2 plus minus root of this much, 16 and uh, 4 for the 16 that is 48 and plus 48 you can take plus 48, this becomes uh, 6 plus 8, uh, 4 and 64, okay, plus or minus root 64 and divided by 8. What is this value? Finally, 4 divided by 8 you are getting minus 1 by 2 and plus minus <coughs> square root of 64 means 8, 8 are 64. Therefore, 8 divided by 8 you are going to take. Square root of 64 is 8 and minus 1 by 2 plus or minus 1. Then minus 1 by 2 plus 1 comma minus 1 by 2 and minus 1. This becomes how much? 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 minus 1 minus of it is 3 by 2. This is m. For the second order derivative, you must expect second degree auxiliary equation. You must expect corresponding number of roots. They are roots are m1 and m2. There must be two roots. What is that? Then you have to write y is equal to c1 that is uh, sorry yc that is c1 because you are writing complementary function that should be we call it as complementary function means yc otherwise cf equal to yc c1 e to the power that is 1 by 2 x and plus c2 e to the power minus it is 3 by 2 x okay this much is there right 1 by 2 x and minus that is 3 by 2 x is there what you want to do now that is a complementary function now particular integral that is pi uh, equal to yp <coughs> how we are going to use using inverse differential operator IDO inverse differential operator how we are going to write particular integral okay what is that particular integral in the theory uh, earlier to this problem we discussed let uh, yp otherwise pi pi is equal to this is uh, 4 this implies 4 d square plus 4 d minus 3 this is y is to be represented as yp this is equal to e to the power 2x this is nothing but your x of x 
This is the very important step because in every problem you will write like this. In every problem whenever you want to use uh, inverse differential operator, this function should be brought to the denominator on the right side and you call it as inverse differential operator. What, what is this symbol? This is x of x that means this gives us yp 1 by f of d operating on x of x. So, this step I am taking here now. That step I am taking now. That should be yp. That should be yp 1 divided by it is 4d square plus 4d minus 3. Uh, this is for 1 by f of d operating on e to the power 2x. What happens when you take this uh, operating of this number uh, as uh, uh, inverse differential operator? Okay, how that uh, that is going to be happening here? This is complementary function and the corresponding particular integral. Therefore, this will be taken as this will be taken as yp is equal to you have to replace that means here a is equal to 2 according to the theory what we discussed you have to replace this d by a means d equal to 2 I will write replace d by 2 provided means if and only if f of d is equal to f of d is equal to a is equal to 2 is not equal to 0. If it is equal to 0 then we consider the next differentiation and then we will move on to the conclusion. But that should not be equal to 0. We will verify now. This is 1 by how much? 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into this is 2 2 square because a, a d square is there plus 4 into 2 and minus 3 operating on e to the power 2x. Let us verify this is for f of a 1 divided by 4 4 so 16 plus 8 minus 3 operating on e to the power 2x. This is for yp. Then yp is equal to 1 divided by 8 minus 3 means 5 that is 21. Uh, 21 is multiplied to e to the power 2x e to the power 2x then you can uh, give your conclusion here f of d equal to f of 2 a equal to f of 2 equal to 21 which is not equal to 0 that means denominator simplification gives us 21 which is not equal to 0 then it is not the case of failure. If uh, in place of 21 had you uh, calculated uh, that uh, denominator as 0 by coinc coincidentally if the denominator leads to 0 then you will claim that it is the case of failure. But here it is not the case of failure because 21 we got non-zero number. Therefore your yp finally takes the number that is 1 divided by 21 e to the power 2x this is your solution for particular integral. Therefore, a required solution you have to write a required solution is given by required solution is given by where is the general solution this one ok y is equal to yc plus yp that is equal to yc yc is this right uh, yc is equal to c1 e to the power 1 by 2x right and uh, c2 e to the power minus 3 by 2x and uh, a particular integral that is 1 divided by 21 e to the power 2x. This is your final solution as combination of that is complementary function and particular integral with the same idea we will move on to the next problem how that uh, problem behaves uh, for the uh, claim of that uh, uh, particular uh, integral uh, whether it is 0 or it is it is give, uh, going to become as non-zero 
number okay solve solve d cube and minus 3 d square d cube minus 3 d square plus 4 operating on y is equal to e to the power same it is 2x we will verify how this problem behaves but every time we can't uh, expect uh, the case of failure or the case of not failure both the varieties may fall then how to identify that means only by proper simplification when you replace that d by the given coefficient of exponential in the solution let f of d y is equal to x of x takes d cube minus 3 d square plus 4 operating on y is equal to e to the power 2x therefore general solution can be written as y is equal to uh, yc plus yp this is equal to cf plus pi that means complementary function plus particular integral then uh, this can be taken as uh, complementary function for cf otherwise yc we will go for auxiliary equation so we will consider only the left side that is the auxiliary equation what is that auxiliary equation m square uh, sorry m cube because third third order derivative is there m cube minus 3 m square plus 4 equal to 0 it is not a quadratic equation it is a third degree equation so directly you can't uh, get factors and you will have to check by trial and verification method for this let m is equal to uh, that is uh, uh, 1 you will get 1 minus 3 plus 4 that is equal to 5 minus 3 means 2 is not equal to 0 opposite value you give minus 1 that is minus 1 uh, and uh, minus 3 and plus 4 this is equal to 0 that means 0 is equal to 0 m is equal to minus 1 m is equal to minus 1 satisfies satisfies the given equation implies uh, that is m plus 1 uh, equal to 0 is one factor is one factor so what the procedure you have followed when once you get one factor means you have to divide the whole function by this uh, identified factor what is that identified factor m plus 1 is equal to 0 so that m plus 1 will be taken for this function for the division that is m cube minus 3 m square and uh, plus 4 to be uh, taken for the division okay m square that is m cube plus m square on subtraction this cancels on subtraction this becomes minus 4 m square on subtraction this becomes plus 4 then minus 4 it is m that is minus 4 m square and uh, uh, this is what happens minus 4 m okay and uh, minus 4 m into m minus 4 m square and minus 4 m okay on subtraction this cancels on subtraction this becomes uh, 4 m and plus 4 okay plus of uh, 4 you can take I, I hope so this becomes plus sign so 4 m plus 4 because you must get remainder as 0 otherwise division is not complete okay so which number you are going to take your remainder should be always become 0 otherwise division will not be completed okay now we will have two factors that is uh, uh, m is 1 sorry minus 1 and uh, another one is m square minus 4m plus 4 so we will see how this equation satisfies therefore uh, m is equal to first number minus 1 and another one is m square minus 4m right 
and plus 4 equal to 0. That means m plus 1 into m square minus 4m and plus 4 equal to 0 are the factors for this equation auxiliary form. Therefore, here m minus 2 whole square directly you can write this equal to 0. That means m minus 2 whole square means uh, second, second degree second degree the equation that is whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, m minus 1 means m is equal to uh, minus 1, 1, 1 number and this must be 2 and then 2, right, are the roots, are the roots. Therefore, complementary function that is Cf is equal to C1 uh, e to the power x plus C2, uh, e to the power 2x plus C3, this is a case of repeated roots, x into e to the power 2x. So, this is called complementary function and the particular integral using inverse differential operator we are going to write. Now, I would like to stop up to here and you think about that inverse differential operator. In my next lecture, I will continue this problem to write the final solution. Thank you.